Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to my FIFA, um, FIFA World Cup 2018 uh, match predictions for the court finals. Now in the 16 we saw Argentina, Portugal, Spain, Denmark, Japan, Mexico, Switzerland and Colombia all exit the top and the competition. And there are some pretty interesting games, there quite, were quite, quite a lot that went into extra time penalties. And I think that will be the same case in this quarterfinals. But let's get into the basic and the British and the British predictions. Well, I can't speak. Um, so on Friday afternoon, three o'clock, we've got the first game: Uruguay versus France. Now I'm pretty sure most people were like, "Oh yeah, France will probably easily win that." But no, I think Uruguay—they've actually surprised a few people at the tournament. They played really, really well in their games. Obviously, and um, they beat Portugal, which I think it's not really impressive, but well, well, I suppose it is. Obviously, since Portugal, they probably were favourites going into that game. And you know, I think Uruguay, I think they'll, as this game goes by, I think they'll be getting more and more confident. They haven't lost the game yet at the tournament. So against this France team, I mean, France, they've probably been one level higher than Uruguay. I'll see that thrilling game of Argentina on Saturday, you know. And, and apart, from, apart from that, they've actually played really, really well as well. But I think it will be, I think France will win this game. I think it'll be 4 2 after extra time. I think it'll be 2 2. Going next, next time, I think France will score two goals just to. Just a cushion of all and you guys run there. Next game, which is the game that's going on screen now: Brazil versus Belgium. Probably the biggest tie of the quarterfinals. Now, um, you know Belgium. I've actually really disappointed with Belgium so far. And obviously, apart from their win against Tunisia, they have to, they're, they're, I actually think they've been quite shocking personally. Not, not, not like obviously abysmal, but well, I, I mean, yes, I know against England as a second team, but I mean against Panama, yes, they won three 0 but they didn't really put much of a shift in. Indonesia they played well, England they didn't really need to play well. And against Japan, they almost got knocked out against Japan. No offense Jim, to Japan, but you know, that really, like, like a team of Belgium caliber, they should not be almost, they, they should not be tuning down against Japan. I mean, and, and they're lucky that they managed to get the win there because that probably would have been the biggest upset of the, of the tournament, I would say, obviously, apart from Germany. Get knocked out in the group stage, but you know, well, I think they got lucky in that game, I don't think they will, but I think, I think Brazil. I've got off to shake this against against it's um, against it's in world since then they've just been absolutely tremendous. And I'll probably I'll probably be saying now that they're probably gonna win the World Cup. I'm saying I'm calling it now because we're all gonna win the World Cup and all. I'll I'll obviously probably want wants wants me to think that's it's coming on, but I don't know, we'll wait and see. And you know, I, I think most people will probably think that that is because on but I don't think we'll be long. I'm going for a free one win for Brazil. I don't think I don't think we'll be because I think we'll probably absolutely destroy Belgium. Next game was important game after Quarter final Sweden versus England. I mean, England, Jesus Christ, I gave last night. I mean, bloody hell, I mean, like, I, I mean, like, that was probably the one time when England came up where I've never been, ever been nervous. And I, th I think I've tried it for you as well because England, you know, we just couldn't. I mean, I mean up, to, up until we, sp we sp scored, we actually played really well. But we scored, we just couldn't do anything in the game. And Colombia, obviously. Well, I mean, I don't know why like, people saying that England, why, why Colombia were robbed, because really, they weren't robbed. I'm, I'm saying that now. Colombia were not robbed, or they, they did not let the go through last night. I mean, yes. I mean, I mean, yes. Like obviously, we well, I wanted to die, but like obviously, like went down the a bit too easily. But like, really, like we only cheating because they were. And the fact that Colombia picked so, so many yellow cards proves that as well. But and, you know, that's that's not really for this video. I mean, and Sweden as well. What what a tournament they are having. Obviously, the first quarter finals for the first time, first, first time I think since 1994. I think for Sweden. And you know, like, and you know, up to this point, they, they've been out there, they've been absolutely out of time. Even in like, the defeat against Germany, they were still really play really well, like, they really unlucky to lose it as well. But I don't know, I mean, obviously, uh, I think former Friedman midfield in the last I don't really know his name, I can't remember his name. Yeah, he said that England were spoiled, which I, mean, which I suppose they are spoiled a bit because you know, they're probably the most, they are probably the highest paid footballers in the competition, obviously, bar the Spanish players, because of the like, like, which is absolutely ridiculous. But, no, I think England. I mean, I think I think Sweden will, will probably give us a harder game than the Colombia did. But I think it'll be like a better game because you know, not being the like, racist, not racist, but like I'm, I was saying that that obviously the European teams like they actually play football properly, which I'm which, which, which I'm hoping that Sweden do because it really should be. Like, and, and I mean, I think it'll be a tough game. I think England will just come out on top. So we'll go for two one with England after extra time. I think we'll go to extra time one one. Last game of the last game of the of the, of the last game on Saturday night, the host Russia against Croatia. Now Croatia and Russia, 
I mean, obviously, you can bring that, like, that the horse to automate it to the finals. Now, obviously, at the time, it didn't look very likely. But, you know, Russia, I mean, like, they could actually do it, you know. I, I think, I think they can. Obviously, probably things they can do, but Croatia, I mean, they, I mean like, obviously, I'd say they've probably been, I'd say probably the best in the tournament so far, apart from Brazil. They've been absolutely tremendous. Croatia, obviously, that 3 0 winning is Argentina, probably, probably put that put, 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 map as, on, as well, just to see. But you know, um, in, a, but in, in the last few games, I haven't been doing that well. I mean, Iceland have been well, like, well, really good. Iceland they didn't have to do anything, really, because they knew that Iceland would play that, that play the game, and that's what they did, and you know, cost Iceland in the end. I think against Denmark, I mean, they had, had, had a good start, but apart from that, they didn't really do anything. And, and I think that will be the same thing against Russia. I mean, obviously, it's getting harder as the tournament goes on, but of course, they will have to fill out some time, but I think it will come out. I think it will be 1 1, but Croatia will. Will progress to those in finals five for penalties. So if my predictions do are correct, then that means there'll be France against Brazil and England against Croatia in semi finals. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe if you're new because that makes me really good and you'll never miss an episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.